That's why. That's cold. <laughs> I stayed here. <laughs> Wait, I lied. It's really cold. <laughs> Five years time we could be walking around a zoo With the sun shining down over me and you And there'll be love in the bodies of the elephants too And I'll put my hands over your eyes But you'll peek through and there'll be sun, sun, sun All over our bodies and sun, sun, sun All down and next and there'll be sun, sun, sun Um, we're making gingerbread things today, not just gingerbread men, because that is sexist, and we're not. So, so the first step is you want to cream together a cup of butter, which is two sticks, and a cup of sugar. And after that gets all creamy, Andrew's going to um, pour one cup of molasses in, and I'm going to pour uh, put in one egg. Okay, we're using Grandma's molasses, the original kind. Now Angel's going to add that to our creamed butter and sugar while I add one egg. And this goes the egg. Next we're going to sift four cups of flour to add to the batter. Sift it into a bowl. And that's it. Just do that for four cups. So here are our four cups of sifted flour and I added a teaspoon of salt, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a teaspoon of baking soda. And now we are going to add our spices. So. We need one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and then also two teaspoons of ground cloves, two teaspoons of ground ginger, and a it teaspoon smells delicious. A teaspoon of ground nutmeg. So here's our combined flour and spices and whatnot. So you just want to add this slowly to your molasses mixture. And cover it and then put it in the refrigerator and then chill it for an hour. And then it'll be delicious when it comes out. And this out. way, it will be easier to roll out and cut into pieces. So here's our chilled gingerbread dough. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to roll it out until it's about a quarter of an inch thickness. And you want to put it on a floured surface so that it doesn't stick to anything. We have our cookie cutters. And so once you've rolled out your dough, all you have to do is cut it out and put it on your baking sheet, which should be lined with parchment paper. So. Okay, these are going to go in the oven at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes. They cook, cook pretty quickly. Today, we're going to be decorating cupcakes to look like snowmen. And we're going to use a box um, cake mix. But we're going to do it differently than the box cake mix so that it's um, sturdier when you're decorating. I might not do so well decorating since I'm really bad at it in general. And me too. So this should be interesting. We're amateurs. The first thing we're going to add is the entire thing of cake mix. And then Andrew's going to add... One cup of low-fat cultured buttermilk. And then I'm just going to dump it in here. Yes. And after he adds that, I'm going to start mixing it with the hand mixer. Before we mix everything together, I'm going to add one-third of a cup of this vegetable oil. It's from Wegmans, but you can get it from anywhere yeah, you want. Yeah, yeah. Okay, one third. Okay. Okay. All right, and yeah. Okay, so I'm adding four eggs, and then it will be ready to stir with our hand mixer. So be careful when you're using this. Hand mixers tend to send things flying. You want to make sure that you keep it on the bottom. If you kind of lift it up, stuff goes flying. Okay, so I've just mixed our batter on high for two minutes, and now we're going to decorate Well, you know what? I don't know how we're going to decorate it, because we have no clue what we're doing. We just can't decorate anything. We, actually we can't decorate we're... anything, you know? We just can't do it. I just make things taste okay. And I just eat them well. We need help. I can help! Yay! 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 Here. <laughs> Yay! We can decorate! So first, it, we are going to put the cupcakes into the paper liners. And when you decorate, you want to make sure that the cupcakes are smooth on top so you can decorate them easily. So in order to do that, we have a gallon plastic bag, gallon sized plastic bag, and we're going to spoon the cupcake batter into the bag. We're going to do a little bit at a time because otherwise it could spill. It might be kind of gross. You might just want to like dump it. 
uh, but it's not big enough. Okay, so usually the cupcake or the cake mix or cupcake mix will make 24 large cupcakes, but for the snowman, you only want six large and seven small. Or you can, you don't have to have that exact amount, just depends on how many you want to make, how many big or small ones you want to make. So you're going to cut the tip of your bag with your frosting and swirl it around so it's about two thirds of the way full. And this way, when you bake the cupcakes, they will come out smooth on top. Now because we're going sometimes. To put the cupcakes in the oven for the big ones will take 15 to 20 minutes. The smaller ones, you're just going to have to keep an eye on to see how long they'll take because they'll take less time than the big ones. And you know they're ready when you stick a toothpick in and it comes out clean. Yep, and they should be kind of golden in color. Now we're going to make our snowman cupcakes. So, first, you take a cupcake and icing, and you are going to ice your cupcake. So we're going to ice that. And for these cupcakes, you want to make sure that you definitely get enough icing around the edges because once you are done icing it, you are going to roll the edges in sweetened flaked coconut because it looks like snow. And then you take a small cupcake and you ice that one too in the same way. And the small cupcake is going to be the head of the snowman. So you're going to roll the edges of the small cupcake in the coconut as well. And then you are just going to put it on at a little bit of an angle onto the big cupcake. You could just take some chocolate sprinkles oh my and you want to take the longest ones and you're going to insert them sorry, into the smaller cupcake to form a smile. So after you've finished your smile on your snowman, you can take an orange starburst and microwave it on the highest power for about 12 seconds, and you want to form it into about a diamond shape, so there's two pointy ends on each side, and then you insert it into your snowman as the nose, like Andrew is showing us, and then you can take two mini chocolate chips and insert them point side in, so the flat side sticks out, and these form the eyes. And next to put on the hat, you have one half of an Oreo with icing on top, and then you can unwrap um, a mini Reese's peanut butter cup, and then you're going to put a little bit of icing on the top of your snowman's head, and then you stick the hat on. Now we're going to put our scarves on the snowman. We made them out of fruit roll-ups, but you can also use fruit by the foot, fruit leathers, sour candy belts, and you're just cutting a section out and you kind of roll it into the shape of a scarf. You can use a serrated knife to cut it to make it fringed at the end. And then you just lay it around the snowman's neck. And he is done, ready to be eaten. All right, so now we're making eggnog. And what we're doing first is we are heating up one and a half cups of non-fat milk or 2% milk or whatever you want. And then you put in two slivers of orange zest, so you kind of just peel it off like a vegetable peel. So you open up the vanilla bean with a knife and then you just scrape out the inside and let it go into the milk mixture. We have our milk mixture which has been simmering and we have in this bowl whisked together two eggs, an egg yolk, a third of a cup of sugar, and a teaspoon of cornstarch. And Burke is just going to keep whisking while I pour in the milk mixture. Ooh. <laughs> now we just add it right back in. To now once you've added it back in, you stir it around in a figure eight pattern until it begins to thicken, which is going to be about eight minutes. Oh my god. Delicious. Oh no. Your gingerbread is so good. It's just like so soft and chewy. Oh.